Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today, Gyutaro is out. Possibly the last DLC character we're gonna get for this game, so we better make the most of it. This is going to be a Let's Learn Gyutaro video, so we're gonna go over his main strengths and um, game plans, and then we're gonna take him online and see if we learn anything extra from there. So, I think Gyutaro has a few big strengths, but is overall quite a simple and fun character to play. He gives me really quite um, Tengen vibes in that he plays pretty similar to most of the cast and he just does it well. He's not super weird like Demon Nezuko or um, Daki, you know, who all have kind of unique playstyles. Kutaro, he just plays the game and has fun while doing it. So one of his, I mean, one a, a, a bit of a boring strength of it, but I think is really good, is he has a really quick attack string. All of his attack strings, the up, the straight, the down, all take less than a quarter of the combo counter and all do a pretty decent amount of damage. So, like, no matter what kind of random janky combo you feel like you want to do, throw in as many special moves, as long as you know you have, like, around a quarter of the combo timer left, you're going to be able to get a full down combo and maybe you'll get a hard knockdown, maybe you'll get the combo ender like that. But being able to, like, super, super easily know when you can fit in a whole attack string to end the combo, which lets you build a lot of meter again afterwards because you didn't end with a special move, um, is really good and it just makes his combos a lot more flexible because you feel like you can safely um, know how to end your combos and it's you can end with a full attack string with even just a little amount of orange combo left, which is really, really cool. Another really strong thing about him is his tilt special. It seems like it's going to be super useful. Very similar to other tilt specials we've had in the um, this DLC run. So it's pretty similar to Tengen, and Daki has a similar thing as well, where he just dashes really far, does a bunch of slashes while he gets there, and he can just cancel it into regular buttons, and he can cancel it on block and on hit and block, which is something that Daki can't do. Tengen can do this, and that was one of the things that made him kind of strong, because he could just keep doing this and loop it over and over again. It will, however, obviously have the same weakness where the first few hits, like if he does the first hit and the opponent can push that back, then the, the subsequent ones might whiff. But uh, it's a little bit tricky for me to demonstrate. But even if the opponent does make the last hits whiff, he can still actually cancel it into buttons. So even if he is whiffing buttons, uh, like, if they do push him back, he's not just stuck standing there, like in Tengen's case, where he has to hit the last hit to cancel into buttons. Jutaro can mash if it hits even the littlest bit. And also a really strong thing about it that makes it kind of different to, say, Daki's, is that he can, from a distance, it doesn't have all of the hits, so it can't get pushed back. So he has the, like, kind of two sections if it hits up close, but from afar... <coughs> sorry. Um, as you can see, only the end hits. So the opponent can't push it back, so they're just forced to take it, and then you can go into buttons and go into his pressure for free, which is pretty, pretty cool and pretty, pretty strong, I think. Um, another thing that's pretty good about him, he's got a pretty fast and damaging grab. It doesn't have huge range, but it has decent range. Like, around here, it's going to reach. So it's definitely in the upper rankings of um, reach, just not Enmu level. And it's got... Um, above average damage, I think, and above average speed. So that is really, really good. One weird thing, though, is that his regular attacks don't push back the opponent far enough to, like, cancel into a grab or whatever. He's just so close that the dash cancels instantly hit. <coughs> so the only time you can really go into a dash cancel into a, um, a grab is, uh... Well, you can't really ever dash cancel, but you can do something like this, and then go into a grab afterwards. Oops. And that can be kind of sneaky. But yeah, on block, it's actually a little hard for him to go for a grab. So a lot of the time when you're going for a grab, it's going to be dash in grabs and stuff from a distance. Which does work well with, of course, his slow projectile. Because that's practically unavoidable. <coughs> um... So yeah, he's got great mobility with the, his the sickle slash that lets him be plus on block, and obviously that lets him have great pressure as well. Okay, without the ab matchup knowledge, Gyutaro can be an absolute pressure monster, because if the opponent doesn't push this back at the right spot, he can basically just keep looping this as much as he wants until their armor breaks. And then do whatever random combo he feels like. And speaking, as you can see from that little random combo there that did like over 3000 damage, He's really good at getting decent chunks of damage. He, 
I don't think I would say he gets ridiculously high damage, but he gets consistently good damage from basically anything he wants. Just because of his two special moves, his regular special and his tilt special, are both just super simple combo extending tools. So you can use a variety of special moves, which lowers the scaling in a combo. And he just gets pretty decent damage. So neutral special just, you know, does that. And this is tilt special, where he just does this, and then you can go into more attacks. So you can kind of just alternate in between the two of those, choose how many attacks you want in between them, and then you've got, you know, a 3,500 damage combo off of basically anything. Whether it's off of, you know, a random th hit in neutral. You got 3,500, you got a hard knockdown, so you can run away and build back your meter. Um, your meter, meter is going to rebuild because you didn't uh, fast, because you didn't end the combo in a special move. And uh, yeah, off of basically anything, he can get pretty pretty decent damage. Especially when you add into the fact that he has a really good grab that has decent damage that can add tons of damage to the end of your combo. So, um, I don't know, just some random combo... Oops, okay. Slightly shorter combo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but basically, if you end your combo... ...and go into a grab, you get a ridiculous amount of damage. I don't know why I'm doing such weird combos. Um, a more regular combo would be something like this. I'm not spending a stupid amount of meter. But adding into a grab makes basically any combo he's going to do over half of the opponent's life. And because it's such a fast grab, it's going to mean it's harder to get out of it. And the opponent will have to really committally jump out of it. Or I imagine in some sequences, it'll be completely unavoidable and not even be jumpable. Which just means he gets a huge chunk of damage at the end of his combos that have already applied poison. Which is a non-scaling aspect. And then you get an unscaled grab at the end of your combo. So he's just the anti-scaling king, I guess, in his combos. Um, his demon skills are kind of used in the similar way to Darkies, because they're not really combo fodder like Demon Nezuko. She she uses her demon skills to get ridiculous damage in her combos, but Hudoro and Daki kind of um, just use them as extra tools. So for Gutero, his first demon skill is this like cyclone he throws out of his chest with all these slashes coming out. It's basically just like a really strong get off me tool, pretty similar to Daki's demon uh, demon skill one, except he doesn't get a combo off of it, which is a little unfortunate. But it's just a long, instantly armored attack. It has a big hitbox, and it is just like, hey, I know you're gonna do something. Get off of me. I'm not sure how useful it's gonna be because you know its damage is not amazing and it doesn't start a combo. But I'll definitely try using it out to see um, where it becomes useful. And his tilt demon skill is obviously kind of his signature thing that they showed off a bunch in the trailer. This slow moving projectile and if it doesn't hit the opponent or it travels far enough it'll stop. Yep and then turn into this little orb and then two slices will come out of it and hit the opponent. So let me get Salvador to just actually walk out of the way so we can see it better. And um, I'll do my tilt demon skill. Sabado walks out of the way, and then we, as we can see here, it turns into these two things, and then two slashes will come out of it and fly towards the opponent. And what's super strong about this is it doesn't uh, matter if Gutero gets hit. So he can just throw these out, and particularly it's even good if they're off of the screen. So here the opponent can't even like get rid of them, and then they're just guaranteed going to fly at the opponent no matter what. So it's almost can be work as like a, a combo breaker because here if Sabuto starts to like start doing a combo on me, I managed to get hit, you know, I am a little bit too YOLO. Sabuto is getting hit and now Yutaro gets to go in for a full combo. Which is kind of ridiculous, so it can kind of work as a preemptive combo breaker. So if you want to throw out this projectile and you know the opponent's going to dodge it because who wants to get hit by this on purpose. You, know, you can do some wild ass stuff, start throwing out some grabs, start doing some unsafe stuff. To do, throw out some of this, even though, you know, you can't make it safe as a demon. Your things might come in and save you even if you get punished, which is pretty cool. And I, I'm excited to try that out. I think that's one of the things that I'm most excited about with his character is 
seeing where to throw this projectile because you can't combo into it like at all off of any of his things even after the last hit of his combo string or after any of his like long hitting special moves so it's definitely a neutral tool that's like an interesting setup where the opponent will either get hit by it or it turns into this even better thing afterwards if they don't get hit by it so really really cool options if, and if they do get hit by it oops you can super easily chase behind it and block right before they get hit by it and then go in for an armor attack and you get to get a pretty decently damaging combo you're like oh okay they're gonna get hit by that oh they didn't get hit by that you dash in behind, oh, they got hit, and then you go in for an armor attack. Probably do something more optimal than that, but it's already a nice big chunk of damage. So that is really, really cool. And obviously if the, you're running up and blocking, you're in the perfect position to go for a grab that is unavoidable. And other than that, most of his toolkit is just like decently strong tools. Like his dive kick is really good. It doesn't have the problems where if the first hit misses, he can't cancel it into buttons. He can always go into buttons, which is super, super strong. He can even special cancel it if it like even only the second hit hits and actually combo off of it. So that is just really good yet again. And um, his armor attack, you know, it reaches, has a decent amount of reach, has a second hit if it doesn't reach on the first one. As we said, the grab is nice and fast and damaging. And, um, oh yeah, the DP is the one thing that's a little weird. Um, it's cool, but I'm not sure if it's useful. He can do this thing where he holds it down, and it goes for a really, really long time. He uses up basically a whole red combo. It does some more damage and a bunch more hits, but I'm... I'm not really sure if it's going to be useful. I think you're better off just doing the regular DP, because then you get the knockdown. You can get some kind of combo ender into a reset or whatever you want. And, um, yeah, do something actually useful, rather than just... Like, that does a lot more damage than if you hold it down because off of the held down version, you don't get a combo afterwards. And it's also so, so, so negative that if you're near a wall, it's kind of like Inosuke's DP, where he has so much recovery that the opponent can just punish him as they wake up. Look, I'm holding the guard button now. I get to guard like second off the opponent recovers. So that could be dicey and I'm not really sure. And I checked, it doesn't even do too much um damage to guard meter. So as you can see, he's already in orange. And it, it, it's like super long, but it just isn't super good at breaking the opponent's guard. I'm, I, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe there's some super high level tech there, but I, I'm, I'm not seeing it right now. And as for his other stuff, obviously he's going to be an awesome character for going into boost and surge mode. And because um, he's a demon, he'll regenerate when he does it. His boost combo ender, unfortunately, isn't as good as likes of Daki or whatever, who she had a really, really awesome combo ender. It led to a really long hard knockdown. His, however, does do a lot of damage, so it would pro possibly lead to some optimal combos. I'm not too sure about that now, obviously. But yeah, it does do a lot, a lot of damage, but you do a lot of damage in boost mode anyways. And then if he goes into surge mode, he's going to have a super easy time going into combos. But it's just like Water Tanjiro or whatever. You can just link special moves into each other really easily. And then go into an ultimate. No worries. So yeah, it seems like he's just a character that plays Demon Slayer here on Hinokami Chronicles. He plays the game well, and he's just got a few little interesting things that makes him a little bit quirky, like this slow-moving projectile that turns into an even better projectile if it misses. And uh, I guess that's the, the main thing that makes him quirky. And he also just gets some poison damage on basically everything he does, which is good because if you don't know how poison damage works, it's basically just uh, like 300 damage that gets applied um, on top of his special moves. And 300 damage slowly depletes at the top of the screen there. And, but what's good about it is that at the end of a combo, 
you know how things do less damage the longer you are into combos. That's how you don't have like as many 100% damage combos. That's how, the, you know, damage scaling is just a thing that exists. But uh, poison scaling actually doesn't exist in this game. So the 300 damage that you get at the start of the combo will be the same 300 damage if you use it at the end of a combo. So you can get a nice unscaled chunk of damage at the end of your combos. Which is particularly useful if you use it in combination with an unscaled grab. So you're getting poison damage and an unscaled grab damage. So you're doing tons of damage at the end of your combo if you go for grab resets. Which I think is something I'm going to doing, going to be doing quite a lot. Because that is just so much damage, bro. And um, ultimate has pretty, pretty good range and is pretty fast. That it can combo off of basically anything. Even this, I believe it can combo off of. Oh, in some situations it can. If you do it fast enough, yeah. So it comes out really, really quickly. So basically, if the opponent's in the air for a decent amount of time at all, you'll be able to combo into it, and any special move or button will combo into it. So you don't have to worry about, like, oh, crap, that wasn't the hit that can go into my ultimate. You can just be like, -ba -da -ba -da. oh, ultimate, that'll work here. Easy peasy. The only place where it doesn't work, and I thought it might, is after this, it, it definitely doesn't work. That's as early as you can do it, and <laughs> it works as a reset, but the opponent is not going to get hit by that, so don't try it. But, uh, yeah. That's Guturo. I think that's all we have to talk about. Let's try him out online. And, um, yeah, I think the main thing we'll be focusing on when we're playing online is seeing the potential of this projectile, because that's, I think, obviously the most unique thing about the character, and also seeing how much we can abuse his Blood Sickle Slash. Um, against some opponents, it'll be super overpowered, I think, because they're not going to know when to push it back. But even against high-level opponents, I think if I space it out correctly, it can become not punishable because only the last two hits hit, and then they can't push those back instantly. So that is going to be really, really strong, I think. He might have really good pressure. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, so I may have sneakily played a match or two off-screen because I'm a cheater and I'm not going to show my first battles in case they're really, really embarrassing. And yeah, I think I was basically pretty right about the big strengths of Yutaro. His tilt special is super, super strong for pressure if you use it in the right way and against the right opponents in the right way. And also, if you manage to get out his um, tilt demon skill at the right time, it is so strong. And yeah, the tilt special is so good, or both of his special and tilt special are both really good. Oh, oh yeah, that did work. Cool. They're both really, really good at like when the opponent breaks out of the combo because they kind of hit at the exact range that um the opponent gets sent to. So they just like instantly hit the opponent and they just work as like instant Oki after the opponent breaks out of your combo. And uh, yeah, the one really big downside of the projectile I found is if the opponent blocks it, that's like the worst case scenario, because you don't get a combo, you don't get the slow version that um will come back to bite them later. You just get kind of nothing. Let's see what he does. Not much. <laughs> I think I'm just going to cash out. And then go into burst. Boost. Sorry. Wrong game. I don't, are those going to hit him? Oh no, I need to get up, quick! I couldn't hit him. Is he gonna convert off of this nicely? Okay. But um, yeah, if the opponent blocks that projectile, it's really not good because you don't get a combo, you don't get that delayed thing, and it's just very, very sad. So I like to throw it out um, at round start if the, ooh, if my opponent is really far away from me. Oh yeah, that's gonna kill him. Oh no! I can definitely be punished from that. GG's. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I like to throw the projectile either at round start when I'm really, really far away because then it's not going to hit the opponent at all, or in some kind of setup reset situation where I... See, look how good that is at Oki. I pressed it before he actually broke out of the combo and it still tracked him afterwards. It is just so good. So this adds so much damage to the end of combos, it's ridiculous. Sometimes I throw it after grabs as well because the opponent either gets hit by it or they kind of rolled sideways so they dodge the projectile. You just want to make sure you use it in situations where you're like, hmm, I think they're either going to get hit or they're going to absolutely get out of the way. If they block it, it's a no-go. And I think the best way I've found to set up into it... Uh, they're going to break there, yeah. Oh, yeah, and you don't want to accidentally do... Oh, 
I didn't do a combo at all. You don't want to accidentally do the second hit of his tilt special. That is really, really unsafe. I found the best um, way to set up into the projectile missing the opponent is just doing an up combo because then it kind of just goes flying past them. Oh, God, that had so much damage. Oh, this is a really, really fun character, by the way. Kyutaro. It is definitely up there. I haven't. I feel like I say this with any DLC character when I start playing with him, but he really does actually feel unique in this game, just like Daki did. Just like, um, like I said with Entertainment Inosuke, they're really doing a good job with these DLC characters and making them feel feel fun, fresh, and unique. I really like the concept of his projectile. It's kind of like a space control tool, like that might you know start a combo or something, but it's also you can use it as a setup tool where you just completely throw it off the screen and you know that it's going to come back to hit the opponent in a few seconds. And it's a really, really, really interesting tool. And then also his pressure. There's, I think, a decent amount of layers in his pressure. Obviously, the first layer is if the opponent is being too patient and blocking. You can just keep doing buttons into tilt special to buttons into tilt special until they die. But um, if they push back the first hit of the tilt special, uh, um, they can't punish it because it's really, really safe and you can still mash. But they can fit in a DP or an armor attack. So you have to be careful. Like, if you do a tilt special, you might want to, like, sidestep cancel it to quickly get out of the way of a DP. Or you might want to do a, t a few buttons um, and then, like, jump cancel something to get out of the way because, you know, the opponent is just going to be mashing DP a lot. It's It's interesting. Oh, God, I got caught. Oh, what's going on? There's a weird amount of something going on. Actually, it's not that bad. I'm just complaining for no reason. I'm good at that. Oh, well, look how much damage is suddenly you get in a grab at the end of the combo. It's ridiculous. Oh, too slow. Yeah, there's a little bit of delay, but it looks really nice and smooth. I think that's what's confusing me. Oh, using that as a combo ender? That's what I thought about doing, but it really isn't actually that much damage. It just looks really cool and lasts a long time. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what the point of the held guard special is. It's just kind of cool. Oh. To be really careful how you try to beat him on lock. Oh, what happened to my combo window? Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh my god. Just, just throw all my meter at him and surely it'll do something. And yes, it did. <laughs> oh no! Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yes! <laughs> That's so crazy. I love it. Come on, dash me, do something. Let me punish you. That was me, don't worry. Ooh, nice! I didn't actually even know you could parry people in dodge mode. Oh, I only did the follow-up. All of that kind of did nothing, but um, now we got it. <laughs> All of that ridiculous mashing in surge mode did... Did actually a surprising amount of nothing. I thought he would be a pretty good character in surge mode, but I guess... If they just violently push back, there's not much you can do. I should have gone for more grabs. This grab would... Ooh, I had, would actually love to see that. His grab already does so much damage. But if I was in surge mode, that's gonna be ridiculous. Like, surely half health on on an Akaza life bar. Not that that's hard. Ooh, yeah, nice punish. It's kind of a mind game with the tilt special. Whoever does it first kind of loses. So you want to be the second person to do it. Ooh, they tried to go for a projectile setup. It didn't really work. I should have probably broke this, but I feel like it's too late now. Nice, nah, going for a parry in there. Interesting, interesting. Oh, damn it! Did you see that? I 
I was aware. I knew that was coming for me. I tried to sidestep cancel, but I guess it didn't move me far enough. Maybe I should have jump sidestep cancelled. Oh, wow, that really hit me. Nice. I don't know why I was standing there so patiently. I should have gone for a grab or something. Delete them. Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> We're fighting against Gyutaro, and this Gyutaro actually knows how to fight against Gyutaro. Which is being a problem for me, because I haven't fought many people that know how to deal with him yet. Oh, nice! See, you can actually beat the pushback if you do the tilt special at the right time. No, come on. I can break this soon. Oh, probably no point by the end of the year. I'm not gonna bother now. Nice. Goodness me. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> no. Press buttons, I dare you. Oh, wait. I was looking at the wrong life bars. I thought he had the small life bar, but I have the small life bar. Damn it, this isn't even going to kill. And now I have no way to boost, get life back, get meter back. I just have to live. And he's in search for so long. Will this maybe kill? Come on! No! Oh wait, what's going on? What's going on? How do- What the heck? <laughs> wait, what? Oh, that was so brilliant! I nearly killed him with my DP, but then he was smart and reacted and did an ultimate. But then the ultimate missed, and I, I, I was still got punished because I held down the TP for too long. Oh, Ooh, that was that was a cool interaction that I have definitely not experienced before. Wow, what a fun character with fun interactions with himself. It's a shame we're probably not going to run into a Daki. I'll probably have to play Daki for anyone to have the, a cool matchup. <laughs> it's not going to be surprising if this video is entirely, yeah, mirror matches. Is this the person we were against before? I can't tell when there's three boxes as a username. Okay. Oh, I did not mean to armor attack. What an awful start. Okay, nice. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do the follow up. Okay, let's go for a setup. Oh, wait, how did it hit him? Usually that like never hits him. Whoa, that actually works. What did he go for? He went for a demon skill? Oh, was he mashing his neutral demon skill? But I did mine first and then he died. Nice. I thought he was gonna break this, but I guess not. Oh, he, he saw it coming! No! Is this the same person as before? I have no idea. Oh, maybe. I know I'm probably mashing a lot. It's working, so why would I stop? I have no incentive to not stop. Whoa. 
I'm kind of glad he broke out because I don't know what the conversion was there. Ooh, sorry, bud. Damn, that is actually... Damn, that was cool! Cool, cool talking about myself. I actually did did things correctly. I blocked a single ultimate. What more could you want from me? What do you ask? What are you asking for? That was pretty nice. I'm actually pretty intrigued into labbing out that setup a bit more. The up combo into the tilt demon skill. Because then when you dash after the tilt demon skill, it seems like you hit them with your dash in pretty, um, pretty meaty. So it's a good Oki setup in multiple ways. Oh, I accidentally did the pull up. Thank God he wasn't ready to punish. Let's try it again. Oh no! Oh, yep, yeah, nice. So he went for a voice line pair up was really weird. He accidentally did the follow up too. It is. Ri Wait, what's. Oh, I don't have any meter! What's going on? <laughs> I guess I did it a frame earlier. It is hard when you're playing online with a bunch of delay to not just keep mashing your buttons and then if you. I hate when that happens. Catches your landing frames, that is so rude. Ooh, damn it, damn it. Ooh, interesting combo choices, but now you have a lot of nothing! Probably gonna boost, yeah. Let's try the setup again. I normally wouldn't do it this many times. No! <laughs> oh, it didn't kill! Damn it, the poison damage! Oh, that caught me! God damn it! You can see my attack was coming out and it just was barely a few frames too late. Hello? What? What just happened there for me? Damn it. <laughs> that was so stupid. I should have done it it's punished with a DP. Big, big, big stupid. It's probably lost me the round here. And a flopped combo is also not helping. Oh, and then flopped whatever that was. Flop a Rooney of around, goodness me. Okay, cool. He likes to flop too. See, the thing is, I can boost. Oh my god! Okay, I need to stop jump sidestepping. Everyone's Zashin keeps punishing my landing frames, and that is not fun. Thanks for not punishing me. That's the kind of cool thing, because it can be slow or fast. Oh, nice parry. Damn it, nice parry. Oh, that is some nice damage. Oh no! How did I click it early? No! What? No! Okay, at least we got the round and it wasn't a total flop. Two rounds each. Um, I don't have tons of meter, but at least I have one bar. Oh no, oh no. Don't do too much damage, please.
Is this worth it? No, this is not worth it. This is not worth it, and I'll tell you why. The scaling at the end of his combos is absolutely ridiculous, and there's no point throwing an ultimate unless you're doing a combo specifically for an ultimate. Although, look how pathetic this tiny amount of damage was. It was like 5% for an ultimate. You may as well just cash out your meter. What am I doing? I'm so done. I'm so done with making bad decisions. <laughs> Why did I throw all of my demon meter when I know I just spent all of my meter like a loser? Nice. Dead. Damn it. We better get that rematch. That was a bit of a... Embarrassing last round in terms of decision making. We were going pretty well until then, I think. Do we get the last rematch or are you gonna win and leave? You win and leave. That is disrespectful. Well, not disrespectful, that is just... Bad. Very, very bad. If your ego can't hold losing the final match, that's bad. Ethics lessons. Moral lessons from Mr. Albronan here. Okay, do you think we're against another Gutaro? Yep. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. At least I know that this is a different person now. Because when you can't tell if you're fighting the same person again, you know, you have different matchup knowledge against each other. You don't know what setups you're going to go for. It's, it's totally different, you know? Oh, that didn't reach. And now I'm just getting hit by like a loser. I don't know if I want to break, though, because I love spending my demon meter. <laughs> Interesting. Let's try go for a setup. I didn't reach! <laughs> that was so embarrassing. I thought I could get a fully charged one because he's standing there waiting for the things. And then I just did nothing. And then grab, and you're dead. Bye-bye. That's the real reset. Screw all this stupid projectile, oki, okizeme, midi stuff. Just grab. Oh, caught me. Nice. And now I can't break out of it. I did actually do it kind of late for some reason because I was thinking about how I want to round start. Oh, I didn't mean to do the follow-up, but at least it didn't matter too much. Oh! I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm boosting. Oh, it caught me in between the two hits of my thing. Is this combo going to be worth taking? How much damage is this going to do? I just don't think it's going to kill, but that's pretty good. I don't think you got this. Oh! That hit! That hit! Don't punish me. Who died? They died. Cool. Oh, what? That didn't hit him? Active frames must have just been over. It looked like it was still doing stuff, but he just totally missed it. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, because his ultimate is so fast, you can do basically any hit into an ultimate and it'll work. In situations like that, it looks like it would have missed, but that's most other characters it would have missed. No meter. Thanks for dodging that, please. I appreciate it, because if you block it, then I get sad. Get a chunk of damage while he's on break. Okay, he broke. Let's just go crazy. Oh, what happened to going crazy? I messed it up. I wanted to end in an ultimate. Lame. Oh, 
Every line he has. Taking back what I deserve. Come on. Get some more range, sir. I know it's your character, but come on. Get a little deeper. Ooh, that missed. I love that you can button cancel that. You can cancel his thing into buttons even on whip. He can just go tilt special buttons, tilt special buttons, and it will work even on whip. Usually that doesn't work for even, you know, most buttons that you can combo into things. Ooh. Um, where'd my combo go? I love how much you can mash with this character. Okay, projectile, and get in on him. Oh, I didn't mean to do the follow-up. Let's just mash some projectiles. Come on, come back to hit him. Please, come back to hit him. Oh, what a cool way to punish. I didn't even have to press any buttons. Let's just do it around start, bro. Yeah, when you're at this distance, his neutral special is actually pretty good at just catching the opponent trying to press buttons because it has so many active frames. It'll just, like, catch them no matter where they are, trying to do whatever. That's so cool! I didn't even bother going for a combo because I knew they were flying in. That's so cool, man. Let's do it again. No, don't steal my idea. Can't do as many as I can. Now that is a combo you don't expect to see online. That is so cool! Okay, that's gonna be how we end the video. I think that was, that was an accomplishment enough. And I think we've shown that we do indeed kind of know how to play Gyutaro now. We've let's learn together. You just use Tilt Special um, to go crazy, and you use Tilt Demon Special to have fun. That's cute at all. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.